going to show you how to shuck oysters. Now, I, a friend of mine, I didn't go out and get these today, but the seasons, this is a good time of year to get them. Any time in the R months, you know, October, September, November, December, because the cold weather is really a good time to get oysters because of bacteria. You know they're going to be clean and good to eat, and you're not going to get sick. But uh, a friend of mine asked me, he didn't know how to shuck oysters, so I said, okay, I'll show you how to do it. I've been doing it for a lot of years. Here I have all my utensils. I've got different, I've got my fish fillet knives. I've got, these are, these happen to be oyster knives here, these here. And, uh, so these are all good for shucking oysters. Um, this is for fish. And uh, this one happens to be, you can use this one too. This is really for, um, for clams like um, quahogs and things like that. But these are your oyster shocking knives. Now, I'm gonna pick up a couple of oysters. First of all, what I wanna do is I just wanna make a, a little bed of ice. So I put some ice cubes in the bag and I just smash them up, okay? So we can make a nice, nice little display here. We'll take this and we'll, we'll put this in the plate here. All right, like that, okay, how's that look? Okay, then we'll um, go up here and we're gonna use a couple of things. This happens to be cocktail sauce. I like to use this, this one by Heinz because it has less sugar in it and I like to make my own. Then we'll take over here, and we're gonna use some of this horseradish. This happens to work out pretty good too. So we'll mix some of that up and um, we'll put it in a nice little bowl. And then we're gonna take the oysters. I'll just take a few of them here, show you how to do it. Now, just to be safe, I use gloves. I mean, you don't have to, but I do because I just don't wanna get stabbed. I've done it before and it's a mess. So I put that, I just use it on my left hand because I'm a right-handed person. So you just take one of the oysters here and these are all, these are all actually small, but they're actually better. I like them small because they're, I think they're just better. So we'll take one of these knives here. I guess I'll take this one here. And what you want to do is you want to come down into the back of the oyster and you try to find a slot, someplace where you can go inside the shell and you just, Put a little bit of pressure in there and then you kind of peel off the top whoops and there's your there's your oyster your your edibles and then you just come around here and you just peel it off okay and you want to peel it off so when you're eating the oyster you don't have to pull on it it just slides down your mouth so then we'll take that and we'll put that right there and uh we'll just do another one here and they're not always easy sometimes they are, but, oh, the other thing you wanna to remember too, is you wanna kinda, of, see here's the top, it's stuck on the top, so you scrape that off, and there's your oyster. And then you, you kinda of wanna run it by your nose and just smell it. Make sure it smells fresh. It shouldn't smell, it shouldn't smell, uh, smell fishy at all. So I'm gonna take another one here. Yeah, these are good, all right, so. Um, these will last up to two weeks, by the way, in a refrigerator. Preferably you wanna leave them on ice because what happens in the refrigerator, it actually takes the moisture and dries out the oyster inside its shell because it, it, it locks itself in there so it keeps the moisture in. You can see this salt water in the shell and that's how it survives. But once it dries out, they're no good. You gotta throw them out. So, here's another one. And the more you do this, the faster you, the better you are at it. You scrape that off. You see? And you got another one. Yeah, that's fine. And you just go wash them off. You got a few more here. And you just go at it. So, 
And I think we have maybe a dozen here. We just got some more from another friend of mine. I'll show you those. These are much bigger. Let's see here. See that these? These are from another friend of mine. These are nice and local, but you see how much how much bigger these are. Alright. These have uh, barnacles on them. Don't know why. Um, but that's okay. They're not it's not gonna hurt the the uh, the oyster inside there. He's he's kept nice and clean, but um, these have been around for a while because the barnacles are growing on the shell. But uh, they'll still be good. So we'll we'll do these tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it's quite, look at this thing. Barnacles on there. Huh, interesting. But you just clean them right off. They'll clean up nicely. So we'll just keep going here. Yeah, you just wanna be careful you don't cut your hand off. And look at that beauty, huh? Okay. And you just keep going. And you know, when you go to a restaurant, they'll charge you, well, in Nantucket, these are like $4 a piece. Because uh, we had them out there in Nantucket in one of my other videos. Um, and most places are charged at $2.50, maybe $3 bucks per, uh, per oyster. Um, but here we get them for free. We actually dig them ourselves. So we're very fortunate to live here on the Cape. So, but you still have to get a license. I always remind people, you know, it's free, but you still have to have a license. See, some of these are pretty tough. Eventually they'll give up. And, uh, you may remember on my um, cohogging video that I heat them up on a on a grill, but here you want to keep them cold. You know, you want to keep them iced, and yeah, you don't want to warm them up. But there is a thing called oysters Rockefeller, and that's when you actually take and you mince these. I think you add spinach and maybe some cheese and you melt it on top and they're delicious. Just another way to have them, but I kind of like eating them just like this and uh, they're nice and fresh. They're raw and they're delicious. Okay, so. All right, okay. So now if you take a look here, we've got a nice display. And I'm just going to take a little bit. Let me see, I've got, I've got a little cocktail sauce here. I'm going to mix that up. Put that in there. Take a little bit of this sauce here. Put this in here. Okay. A little bit of horseradish sauce and mix that up. Need lemon too, fresh lemon. And what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and cut the lemon up. Okay. And you can put a little bit as garnish, but you wanna you wanna squeeze it into each of the oysters, like so. Get a little bit more. And then make sure the seeds don't fall in. Okay. Okay, then we take a little bit of the cocktail sauce with the horseradish. We put that right on top. And you don't have to do this. You can actually just eat it, have them without the sauce. This still tastes great. Um, and yeah, you got yourself some nice raw oysters. And um, yeah, these, these, your friends will love them.